Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Kurt True Track weight distribution system with sway control. We're going to go over some of the features and kind of compare it to some of the other weight distribution systems that we have available here at eTrailer.com. So if you're not familiar with what a weight distribution system does, uh, basically it's an added component to your towing setup that's designed to help uh, distribute the weight of your trailer across all the axles of your tow vehicle and your trailer so it's going to give you more stability and control. Uh, it's going to achieve that by applying pressure uh, while these Brackets here are going to mount onto your trailer's frame. Uh, this is going to slide into your hitch receiver on your vehicle. And then you've got these spring bars here that are going to uh, flex to uh, make sure that you have that weight evenly distributed, kind of lift up on the back end so all of your trailer's tongue weight isn't pushing down on your hitch ball. So uh, very similar concept to most weight distribution systems. I I've never seen one that doesn't use that spring bar uh, design. So they're basically all the same in that respect. So the differences you're going to see are basically in the weight capacity of your weight distribution systems, uh, in the trailer height accommodation, uh, how tall uh, you, or how much adjustment you have in this uh, head assembly on uh, where it's lined up to make sure that your uh, trailer is going to be level, and how they achieve their sway control. So there's a few different ways um, to achieve that sway control to help keep your trailer in line. So we'll kind of go over some of those here in a moment. But the first thing is going to be your uh, weight capacity. So this is going to have a uh, tongue weight range of between 1,000 pounds and 1,500 pounds. That tongue weight is really the most important uh, weight rating that you'll need to focus on. So uh, once you have your trailer loaded up, uh, anything behind your back axle on your tow vehicle and uh, in front of your front axle on your uh, trailer that's going to be pushing down on your hitch ball there, that's your tongue weight. So this is going to have a range between 1,000 pounds and 1,500. So you want to make sure uh, you're going to be within that range so it's not going to be too stiff and it's going to be able to support that weight. It's gonna, got a max gross towing weight capacity of 15,000 pounds. That's the weight of your trailer plus the load included. So you wanna make sure that this is gonna work for you. Uh, we do also have other options available here at eTrailer.com that have different tongue weight capacities and that sort of thing. So you wanna make sure that this is gonna meet your setup's needs. The next thing to focus on is uh, getting this attached to your vehicle. So this is gonna slide right into your two inch by two inch uh, trailer hitch receiver on your vehicle. You do want to make sure that your hitch is rated for use with weight distribution and uh, not all of them are and obviously your whole system is only as strong as the weakest component so you don't want to uh, put more weight on than your hitch can handle. So this will slide into your uh, hitch on your vehicle. Then we've got this shank here that's got the uh, height adjustments so we can set our head at uh, different positions to make sure it's going to be a level with our trailer. We measure that by going from the top inside edge of your receiver tube, which is gonna be the top of our shank here, to where your coupler is going to sit. Uh, so this isn't gonna give us much drop. As you can see here, I've got this set at the lowest setting for this shank, and it's only going to give us a drop of about a half of an inch. We can flip this over and use it in the rise uh, setting, and that's going to give us a max rise of about five and a half inches. So if your coupler sits about five inches taller and then your hitch, uh, if your trailer's coupler sits about five inches taller than your hitch, uh, this will do okay for you. Uh, but if you're needing a much larger drop, if your trailer sits a lot lower uh, than your hitch, if you have a raised truck or something along those lines, uh, we do have other options that have much uh, greater drops available for you. Our head assembly here is going to have our 2 and 5 16th inch hitch ball that your coupler is going to attach to to create that connection there. Uh, this is going to um, have a manual tilt setting. So uh, most weight distribution systems on the market are going to require you to um, manually adjust the tilt of your head assembly here uh, to ensure that it's going to uh, work with your setup. Some systems use a bunch of washers, as you can see on that bottom uh, circle there. So you just stack a bunch of washers. That can be kind of a pain because then if you get the wrong amount on there, you have to kind of take it apart, uh, adjust the amount of washers that you have, and then put it on uh, again and kind of worry about how many washers you need. Uh, there's some other systems like the Reese systems that you see on the top there. You've got the 
uh, square washer on the top right that's got the teeth that kind of bite into the head assembly so that you can set it up the way you want, or the one on the top left there that's got the uh, hexagon shape to it uh, so that you can adjust how far back uh, that is setting. There are other systems like the Blue Ox Sway Pro that have the tilt built in, so you're not going to have to worry about adjusting that. Uh, but this is really just going to be something that you have to do the first time you get it set up or if you're going to be switching your tow vehicle or your trailer. Uh, so you're not really going to have to worry about it too often. But this system is going to use uh, these uh, adjustment rods and a couple of washers. So it's going to cut down on how many washers you have to worry about stacking. Uh, so you can either use the shorter adjustment rod or the taller adjustment rod to get that tilt built in. So it is going to be a little bit easier than stacking all those washers on top of each other. Not quite as easy as some of those other options. So our head assembly itself is going to provide the connection points for our spring bars here. Uh, so our spring bars are attached with these snap pins, so very simple to get those slid in once you have those holes lined up, and then that's going to provide a nice solid connection point. Uh, these uh, spring bar attachments are going to have a spring-loaded ball bearing uh, system that's going to uh, make sure that it's going to apply consistent pressure to help keep the trailer uh, centered so it's not going to uh, sway as much. So that's one part of our sway control system uh, with this setup. So having those in there, if I can demonstrate a little bit, you might not be able to see very well, but uh, once you try and pull those together, they do kind of snap back out uh, so you can feel how much it is going to help keep your trailer in line. Our spring bars, as I said, are kind of the... Uh, main component in the system. They're going to be what's flexing to keep your level uh, stable and uh, level. And then uh, down here we do have our uh, clamp brackets. So these are going to mount onto your trailer's frame. You're not going to have to do any drilling into the frame. Uh, they are a clamp-on design. So these are going to fit trailers up to six inches tall and up to four inches wide. Uh, mount right onto your trailer frame. Uh, these do need to be positioned about four inches back from the end of the spring bar. So that's approximately 33 inches back from your hitch ball. So you can kind of measure your trailer's coupler, uh, see where these are going to line up, make sure that you don't have any other uh, frame mounted accessories on your trailer that that would uh, prevent these from getting mounted in place. But then they do have these L style brackets here that are going to uh, provide the mounting point for the other end of our spring bar. So pull off the clip here so you can see how these will attach. They do include this lever bar to kind of give you a little extra assistance in getting these up in place. So basically you'll just lift the lever bar to slide that spring bar in place and then you can put in the smaller L bracket to make sure it doesn't slide off. Now this is gonna be a much easier process for you if you use your trailer's tongue jack uh, to kind of take some of that strain off those spring bars, and then you won't have to work nearly as hard uh, to lift those spring bars up onto that L bracket. Uh, but that's something that you'll uh, kind of get used to as you use it more frequently. Uh, but these do rely on a steel on steel friction uh, between your L bracket and the spring bar to make sure you have a nice rugged, uh, rigid system and that's going to also help keep your trailer in line. One of the downsides to that steel on steel friction is going to be the noise, uh, so it does squeak quite a bit. There's other systems that use chains to hold your spring bars up to your frame, uh, your trailer frame. Oftentimes those chains can sway quite a bit, uh, so you're not getting the sway control uh, so they do have to add in a different kind of sway control with that, those chain systems. Uh, there are systems like the Blue Ox Sway Pro that uh, has a channel that the chains fit into, so you're still getting that stability without the noise. Uh, but this is going to do a good job for you. just might be a little bit noisy uh, for you overall. This does have a black powder coat finish, so it is going to be very durable and uh, corrosion resistant. On the back side of our trunnions here, we do have grease cirques, so it is going to be very simple to 
hook up your grease gun, pump some grease in there, uh, keep things well lubricated and maintained. So maintenance is going to be very simple for you. They do include instructions to walk you through the process of uh, getting this all set up so you, uh, you can trust that your system is going to be fine-tuned to the system or the, the setup that you have. So overall, uh, a really decent system. I think it's going to do a good job for you, especially this, uh, the weight distribution. It's going to work just like every other weight distribution system. That sway control, I think, will do a, a decent job. Uh, really have three different options uh, when it comes to picking how that sway control works. So you've got your L brackets here with your steel on steel friction. You've got your chains uh, that uh, kind of hold the spring bars up and that, that sway Pro uh, system from Blue Ox does provide that uh, sway control. And then you've got a Pro Pride system, which is really in a whole different uh, category, much higher price point, but they achieve that sway control in a much different way. Uh, so this is going to be really your, your standard, your m most common system having those L brackets there. So it's going to do a good job for you. Like I said, make sure that it's going to work for your weight capacity, uh, your trailer's uh, tongue weight and that it's going to accommodate the rise or drop that you need to make sure that your trailer is level. If it does, I think this will be a great job, uh, do a great job for you. So that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.